right. So, <laughs> I'm one of them pervs on there, so I'll put my little slipper socks on and I won't be able to see my toes. Okay. It's free porn. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to my channel. <laughs> Um, we have the Q&A today, difference between mental fatigue and physical fatigue, steps to get back on track. <laughs> I'm thinking it would be more like, in my mind I just can't be bothered to do it. Well, I feel like if your motivation is low, you just need to basically remind yourself why you're doing it, because anyone that trains like hard and consistently doesn't always want to train hard and consistently. I like to use the analogy of brushing your teeth when you're a kid you don't want to brush your teeth and you have to <laughs> yeah. and then as you grow up you get so used to your teeth feeling clean that when you don't do it they feel dirty and that's what training then becomes it's like even if I don't want to go to the gym I know I have to go to the gym because if I don't go to the gym I'll feel like shit for it yeah I feel worse if yeah. I don't go to the gym like in prep I know mm. there's some people that even miss training sessions when they're in prep that's not even an option no. like from when I, that means I'll be having to set myself up for failure that day because my meals that I have from meal one are totally different on training days than what they are on rest days. So I need to know the previous night, right, am I training tomorrow? And that's, if I am, then that's my breakfast. Yeah. If I'm not, then that's my rest day breakfast. Mm. And the whole thing of when people message and say like, oh, I need some of your motivation. <laughs> it's like it's, it's not something you either want to do or you don't. Yeah. It's not something that you can give someone. If you want to change yourself and you you want to do it, then you'll find the time or you'll find the energy to go out and go to the gym. I just remember how I feel after I've trained. Yeah. Like just, whenever I'm ever thinking, oh, I can't bother to go to the gym, I know I'm going to go. Yeah. But I'm just like, think how shit I'm going to feel if I don't go mm. and how much better I will feel if I do go, it might be a shit session, but at least I've been. Sometimes I go thinking it's gonna be a shit session, and I get done, and it's mint. And even if it is a shit session, it's better than the session you didn't have. Exactly. So I feel like if you're struggling with mental fatigue, it might be that you just need to like assess your whys again. Sometimes physical fatigue can just be resolved with a good pre-workout. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, pre-workout do you want it? Yeah. It depends on how extreme yeah. the fatigue is. Right. Where do I start if I want to compete? Um, make sure you're doing it for the right reasons. Mm. Don't just do, don't just compete because you think it looks nice to get in a sparkly bikini and get on stage. Yeah. Because it's not it doesn't feel good at getting to that point no yeah. it, to get to stage ready and look like you should be there yeah it's it's not fun like if you want to do something just to look nice do get just die for a photo shoot yeah then you're still being healthy as well i'm not saying that preps unhealthy but right, it is it, it, it is like it, i mean it depends on how you do it no, there's healthier ways to do it yeah but I, I i always tell my clients to work it's not a healthy thing and no one should do it like on a whim like you shouldn't just be like oh i want to compete because it looks good i'll be like well i cried a lot <laughs> i wasn't i still wasn't lean enough and i cried a lot my calories got really low and i think that it depends no i don't think it's healthy i feel me. like my next prep isn't gonna be as unhealthy. But I still feel like, as a whole, it's unhealthy. As a whole, it is, isn't something to take lightly. But, and I also think you need a good coach. That's another thing. <clears throat> Definitely. Finding a good coach is so important. Mm. I didn't realize this when I first started. Mm. Like, it's the difference between being starved and actually really fucking your body up. Yeah. And dieting down to maybe not a healthy standard. Yeah. But at least, you've got the right support and you're doing something unhealthy in the most healthiest yeah. way possible and then for females that losing my periods and stuff like that you don't want to do that just so that you look nice yeah. for one day and so, i also feel like you shouldn't do a show unless you've got the right muscle base that was my mistake you need to take time growing before you decide to step on stage i've only been training like properly for like a year and a bit and i stepped on stage and i like a bag of piss so. See, I'd, I've been training, but I joined a gym hmm. at like 
like 15, 16. Mm. But I wouldn't say I was, I was definitely not training properly then at all. But I had been at the gym for a while before I started competing when I was 21. Mm. So I had been training, but now looking back, if I was going to do it again, I wouldn't have just been like, right, coach, diet is down so I can get on stage. It's much better to get your food high. Mm. Like, that's something that you should do. Get a coach, get your food nice and high, do an off season with them, have an off season of growing, getting your food high, getting the right mental stance, and then yeah. go to a prep, pick your show, and go for that show. Mm. That's the the way that you should do it and include your posing in there as well. Yeah. Get posing from the from when you Day first off. start, yeah. yeah. From your first start and the off season mm. posing. Next competitive goal mine is next year I would like to still do PCA, get my PCA pro card, compete the PCA pro show and then go for my pro card at IFBB. But I would like to do some more amateur stuff before trying to get my pro card. Okay. As much as some people would prefer just to go straight for the pro card. I want to just enjoy it as an amateur first before becoming a pro and only being able to compete with pros because... I don't know. Like, I feel like next year I just want to feel happy with the package I present. In fact, the past two times I've competed I've been like could have done more, could have looked better. I want to be like, no, 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 I feel like this right here, I am happy with, regardless of how I place, whether that's with PCA or IFBB, I just want to be like, nah, I feel good about this. I've done what I needed to do. Yeah. I've done my best, yeah. Yeah. Best way to start off pausing? Oh, watch videos. Yeah. I didn't know how to lat spread until I got to Worlds. I did my first two shows. Didn't I was pushing me back together, like <laughs> not good. Um, so yeah, I think I've learned more from watching people's videos, and then well, if you've got friends who compete as well, sometimes they'll know people, or you have people in your team that are more advanced than you. So it's always worth reaching out to people before you go and pay the premium because it the cost will just add up and it'll be astronomical. Like you don't want to be spending thousands and thousands of pounds on a prep and then you and to risk like not even doing that well in it. <clears throat> yeah, posing is, for the top people, mm. posing is so expensive. It just so videos, videos. watch your videos, friends, friends mm -hmm. and then... Your coach. Yeah. Because even like Kuba adjusts us by looking at us. Yeah. Because he knows how we should look like and he helps a lot like... Like he tells us what to do, even though he's not doing it himself, which is really helpful. Yeah, my main front pause that I used to do, I remember doing the check-in like the day before my show and I was like, yeah, that don't do that pause anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, uh, but this is like my, like it was the front one where it's like, yeah. legs are like that, it's just like that. And I was like, but this is like, you know, the base pause. I'm <laughs> like, that's where you would start, that's where you start your corner turns from. That's you say that? It's not even to do that in comparisons. Uh, no, never do that pause. <laughs> <laughs> but don't do it, and I'm like... Okay, mm. thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So then the pause that I went to was the one that I do all the time now, yeah, which is like one for one like that. The only issue with that is the badge has to go on this side of your leg. So when you're doing a pause, on, I just try and show the pause. So, the pause that I didn't have to do was the one where it's like, I can't even see myself. Getting Ooh. it off. So I do it slower. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that one. Yeah. That one was like, don't ever do that anymore. Alright, oh. So I had to change it to that one. Yeah. But the badge goes there. I didn't know you were allowed to do that as a front one. Because I put it here. Yeah. Yeah. And then we're like, no, you need to put it over here. So I put it there. So then when you're at the front and they're like, they can't see put you. your badges to the front. And I'm like, but then when you turn, it yeah. like, has your whole pose up. So then you look like shit. Motivation during lockdown. Lol. <laughs> L O L. <laughs> um, Do you know what? Like, I, I feel like this is just shit. Like, if I'm being honest, like, 
motivation during lockdown i feel like hopefully there will be some leeway and it actually is four weeks but i feel like it's gonna be hard yeah they definitely <clears throat> didn't start the first quarantine by saying we're going to be in lockdown yeah. for like six months didn't yeah. they so i'm not gonna be one of those people that's like come on guys like it's not gonna be too bad because it is bad yeah. it's fucking shit it's shit yeah. for everyone and people who say that it's not shit they're just Trying to make us feel better. <laughs> and yeah. But something that really did actually help me in quarantine was yoga. Yeah. yeah. It really helped. Like, you, it does seem pointless. No, it's good for your mobility. It's not only that, but like, so it's, some of them are just 10 minutes long and it just gives you time just to like centre yourself and it's like, self-love kind of things it does not take long mm. you feel better like you like stretch yourself out especially quarantine just sitting around all day yeah. like it's just nice just to uh, yoga mm. <laughs> maybe, so, maybe just try to do something that you would normally do you wouldn't have the time to normally do like i said to all my clients think about all the all the time things that you've got to worry about when you can't train or you can't eat your meals like now you're not gonna have any of that to worry about so if we do go into lockdown for four weeks, then you've got no excuse not to stick to your training plan or stick to your diet plan because you're not going to have anything else to be doing. So, Good time to start a qualification as well. Yeah. I, <clears throat> I mean, I say that because I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to get a qualification. <laughs> Did I? No, no I didn't. But <laughs> anyone if they would like to, it's a good time to start a qualification, even if it's online or a book where you can read up on stuff to even better your work. Just trying to scrape the barrel, oh. barrel hill for things. Like, yeah. Positivity. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just go to the next one. Wait until the next Boris announcement. Yeah. That's the motivation. Yeah, wait, wait until the next Wednesday. announcement. That's, what we'll, that's the motivation we need. No, but I don't even know when this video's going out. <clears throat> Whatever happened, happened. Yeah, we're speaking from the past right yeah. now. So we, we might be upset or we might be really happy. I predict that they'll keep the gyms open. I don't know. But I'm just, gonna, I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna be like. There's so much stuff though. Prepare for the worst and hope for the best. Yeah. Do you ever get bored eating the same things? No. Not when you're top chefs like uh, me and Adina. Yeah. If you make your food right, then you do not get bored. When you get bored, I think that's when off plan meals should be a thing. Like, if you're not dieting. See, I, but the, all my six meals are different. Yeah. So it's not like I'm having the same meal six True. times a day. Every one of my meals is different True. and I make all of them mint. Yeah. And I look back at it before meal plan days and I'm thinking all that time I was thinking, oh, what am I going to have for tea tonight? Mm. Oh, what, what am I going to have when I get home? That's not even a thought now. It's like, mm. oh, maybe which meal should I have meal two or meal three? Yeah, <laughs> like, that's what but, Apart from that, I know what I'm having. Much less waste of food as well. Big time. Because yeah. I used to buy stuff in and then be like, oh, I forgot I had that. Or like, oh, I'll have that later and never have it. Now I'm like, right, I've got to have this. I know I'm having lettuce on this day. I know I'm having chicken on this day. Or like, that's how long it's going to last us. And I barely took anything away. Mm. So, I mean, I might took away extra bits of meat. If I got like a steak or something that's not being weighed out exactly. Mm. <laughs> but apart from that... Yeah. I don't, yeah, I think it's, we're just too bodybuildery that we've adapted to this life way of living. <laughs> and like, for us, this is normal. I'm lazy. Yeah. Have you had a Brazilian butt lift? <clears throat> no. <laughs> <laughs> you just go through these really quickly. On to the next. <laughs> I have had no plastic surgery whatsoever. How do you manage your mindset um, when you gain weight from bulking? Um, it's part of the process. Yeah you just got to realise it's part of the process and if you want to grow you've got to do what's necessary. I, I feel like a lot of girls are like quote unquote scared of getting fat and I was like but then you have to sacrifice being lean. Because then you will you will get better at body composition. Mm -hmm. The more that you bulk and cut the better your body's going to end up looking. If you look back like when we were looking back at my check-ins mm -hmm. the same weight or even less weight than what I was in December time. Looks worse. Looks so much worse yeah. than what I do, I do right now. But also when you're with game weight, just cover up. Like, mm. that's the easiest thing to do. Just get some yeah. big, to have all the more my tops in there. Yeah. X, 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 
L. Triple X. Triple X. Yeah. And then you, then you still feel small in your clothes. Yeah. <clears throat> Are you single? Are you single? No. I'm a bit single. <laughs> a bit. <laughs> I'm always single. Yeah. It depends who's asking. Just, just a bit. Just not 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 the whole way. Just just a bit. I could have a boyfriend if I wanted to. Oh, just don't want to, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that I've chosen this life. I've chosen this life. I love it. Yeah. And that sounds sarcastic, but I, I'm being. I do actually like this. This is nice. I get to do what I want. When you want. When I want. Who you want. Who I want. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> Favourite body part of the train? Shoulders. Eat the most. Yeah, I hate legs. I fucking hate. Like, honestly, when I do, like, when, when we, we train legs, the anxiety on the way, I'm gonna fucking die. I'm fucking die. I'm gonna fucking die. <laughs> I, love fucking it. die. <laughs> I don't know what mine is. See, I love, I love training everything. At the moment, well, I say at the moment, like, it's temporary, my legs buggered. <clears throat> so that's like a, a thing that annoys us during leg day, but I really enjoy training legs. I love training back, but then I tend to get like a, oh yeah, <laughs> something in my arm, in my back, bit the niggles sometimes with that pisses us off. So, and then shoulders, I enjoy, I enjoy everything. <laughs> Would you pick Jim over a boyfriend? These three questions are all from the same person. <laughs> Would you pick Jim over a boyfriend? Do you know what? Like, no. Why? Why'd you have to? Why can't you have both? Why can't you have a guy that understands that you want to train? I'd rather have both. <laughs> I would. Oh, would I, would I pick one over the other? I don't know, because I hate being single, me. I'm a lonely single person. I'm the type of person I go hug my mum if I've not got a boyfriend. I go up my grandma sometimes. Yeah. Like, before this whole quarantine Shazam thing. Get cuddles off your grandma, right? I would, yeah, I I would go sometimes on a Sunday evening yeah. and then I'd just go to my grandma's because she would be in bed by like six o'clock and I'd just go and snuggle in with my grandma and get cuddles. Yeah. But I can't do that now. See, this is what quarantine is making me miss out yeah. on. Grandma cuddles. Yeah. I haven't had a cuddle for my mum in like a year and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing beats like, you know, like mamsy cuddles. Like, no, just grand, soft old person. Grandma cuddles are better. Definitely, but um, for me, would I pick Jim over a boyfriend? <clears throat> no, I wouldn't. It would that wouldn't be a, a thing that I'd have to choose. That like, if my my future boyfriend <laughs> will have to, will have to be making each other better. Like I wouldn't want it to be a situation where I'd have to choose on if I'd spend time with him or to keep him happy or to go to the gym. Like it would be. He'd be support what I'm doing and be not like me, me cheerleader, <laughs> but like be more, almost proud of the fact that we do what we do and appreciates what I have to do and not that it's like a burden or make me feel bad for having to go out for a walk to get my steps in or saying no to having some of his pizza or something. Mm. like. I don't, I just don't think that should be an issue. <laughs> so that was some Q&A from me and the teen. Um, if you've listened to it all, well done. <clears throat> so if you watched the whole of that and, then, not if you enjoyed it, but if you listened to it all, let me know. If you enjoyed it, then you can let me know that separately. Um, subscribe. Subscribe and like. And share it, share it mm. and comment and all that shit all of the stuff and i can now do a swipe up on my instagram so i'll be doing that too <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah bye oh. bye <laughs>